I got a new client here, and she's really old. Four, I think she's 14. Maltese is, man, that's really old for Maltese. Um, she, came, she pet parents have owned her for about two months now, so she's a rescue. She's really mad because she has a skin condition that's having like spitting out this gunk. Bad, like, and so hopefully once we get get it off, we're, I told her we can even do a la carte. Give give your clients a choice, so they don't have to do all the whole grooming every time. It's all matted in here, pretty bad. Um, and the pet doesn't have to be in here for very long. So I'm gonna get started, and we're gonna move pretty quickly. It's definitely unsafe I don't want the 10 is the shortest safest blade just get yourself a hole in here yeah it's gonna be right at the skin but in her situation uh, she's indoor dog and this is just one time and then we'll start growing the hair out a little bit and start maybe using a four guard instead of just uh, getting this mats and everything off and I, again I don't know her demeanor mom said uh, she was just trying to mess with her and she's trying to bite and stuff so I'm just trying not to I'm just trying to pay attention to what's going on with her head and how her reaction to me. My hand is not heavy on the clippers, so it's, it's really lightly just kind of taking this off. I'm not like pushing down because she is a white dog. I really don't want it to the skin, but I do want to get the mats off safely. And if you watch those other videos, there's a way you can hold your clippers. Like uh, some of you, I'm going to do another video for a lady who had written uh, Jiri, her last name is Jiri. She asked me about like holding her clippers. So if you're holding it like this, I cannot feel like the blade, the heat of the blade like this. Like if I'm coming down like this. So if I'm holding it like this, which is how I hold it, that's how I'm grooming this dog. So some of you out there, the haters, if you guys are like, oh, you're burning that dog. No, I'm actually just using the very tip. There's no way I'm burning the dog ever. So learn how to hold your clippers like that. And if you're not sure, do it to yourself. Like freaking go like this. You can't I can't even feel any heat. Can you feel heat, David? No. <laughs> and it is kind of got, got heat here, right? It's a little bit of heat there. And then if you actually work pretty fast, if you're moving fast, heat doesn't, it's not gonna transfer there either if it's moving fast. You know, you're just gonna it's not gonna feel any heat, so. And if you lightly jab in here like this, then you're able to like pull that, pull that mat as well as get it away from the skin without like nicking too. So you're pulling and cutting at the same time, not against, directly against the skin. Look at this, this is gross. Yeah. And this is like private area here. And if you're grooming older dogs, a lot of them have moles. If you're not heavy handed, then you're gonna, then you're not gonna hit the moles. If you're, if you're really heavy on the moles or on the clippers, you're gonna hit these moles and nick them. So if you do the technique with the clippers that I do, then you won't be hitting any of the moles on these dogs. Some of you might not like the fact that we're shaving her, but unfortunately with her skin condition, this is the best alternative. And she has a special shampoo to use, you know, things like that that the mom is very concerned about. So we wanna get all this off kind of start over and I don't really want to groom her very often because of her age so doing short means she doesn't have to come in very often so sometimes you make a choice based off of health rather than looks or personal opinions she's doing good so far isn't she The skin condition is like everywhere. She has a name for it. I'll, have to, I'll put it in the um, YouTube comments. Again, uh, using your point, the point of your clippers, the blades, instead of like holding the whole blade to her skin. It's like not even touching her skin here. And the neck line was the worst part, she said. And it is, you can see. She's doing great for blind though because most blind dogs move around a lot. I think she's still probably got some vision that she can still see. Okay. Okay, hold on, let me see. 
Okay, let's see. So that would be why I don't answer the phone and talk, you know, while I'm grooming. It's like serious here. Don't answer the phone while you're grooming. She's older, I'm not gonna use the dog upstand here. I'm just gonna let her sit. And she's sitting so still, so it's, it's working out really well for her. So wait, I'm gonna see how loose this is. That's okay, but it's not oh, the perfect situation for me because it does give her room to like walk around if she wants to walk around, but we're good so far. And again, I don't care how it looks really, I just wanna get it off. And if it's not all perfect length, I'm okay with it this time. And we won't be blow drying her. I explain it like uh, blow drying is like, on the phone I'll be like, blow drying, a do senior dog is like freaking putting a jet engine in their face. And I don't do the cage dryers at all. So I, I would rather a senior dog go home a little bit damp and then she's gonna dry so fast at this length here. She'll probably be dry before we, she leaves. Pet parents are actually outside in the car waiting. Their option was to wait in the lobby or in the car and she brought her best friend because it's her birthday so they can chit chat in the car and I'll be done in about 40 minutes. So it's great for the dog. I don't ha really have to cage her or anything so. so good. You're doing great. She's only had her for like two months. Someone's got to rescue the seniors, right? Okay, is that tickle a little bit? Okay, hold on. She's wanting to itch her chin here. Whoop, 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 don't go anywhere. I'm holding her jawbone so I can really get in here and get these mats out and she's like wanting to itch. Maybe that's because that feels so good to get off of there. Look at this. This is gross. <laughs> I'm so real about it, right? This is gross. This is on you when you're breathing it in. I gotta clean this up, girl. And she's letting me. I can smell it. it. Smells funky. I don't know what it smells like. This is part of the skin condition issue, but the mats aren't. Those are just. I'm holding her jaw there. Hold the jawbone when you're working like this. Not the esophagus. Is that itchy? Is that itchy in there? Okay, let me see. You're doing so good. We're almost done. Get in that pocket over there. Oh, there's always mats in there. Today my right hand is just numb completely. I don't know, all night the, my whole arm was numb, my hand is numb, so my fingers are tingling right now. just going fast and going reverse on this 10 like clean feet but this dog is not gonna have clean feet next time you know but I can see there's mats in between her toes so I'm just getting in there with it going backwards 
And then I'm gonna come back and check every toe and make sure there's no math I missed in between the toes. Uh, at least this time, we'll get her cleaned up. Next time, hopefully it'll be cute teddy bear feet with some hair on it. Okay, I'm trying to see if I can leave a little bit of head here. We're almost getting done. Still mad it in there? I know, baby, let me get in there. Tickle? Does that tickle? Let me get in there. It's really tight. I'm gonna take this off. I can't even see what I'm doing. Oh no, baby. Let me see. She wants to itch pretty bad here. Okay, let me see. Lift your head, baby. Is that tickle in there or what? Okay, let me see. Oh, I bet that feels so good already. Just wait till you get cleaned up. Okay. Careful with your clippers. I hate putting them on the table, but right now I'm just gonna sort of fit me. Okay, dog. No biting. Okay, now she's getting pissy. No, that's not, we're not doing that. No, we're not gonna do that. I'm gonna go two guard reverse. I'm glad I got all that off before she started trying to bite. Now she's happy and she wants to bite me. No, no. Okay, that's matted right there. So I'm gonna just take it out with the Ten right here. Yeah, okay, we're not having fun with this. Okay. No, no. No, no. I don't know what you're going through, but you need to stop. Okay, that's not going to work. All right. Let's see here. Let me see if she'll let me do some scissor here. If not, we're going to come back. After. So if she's blind, that could be why she's kind of jerking and stuff. Just watch her tongue here. And I'm not going to push it. I'm just going to get what I can and then we're going to go to the bath here. Don't keep moving your head. Let me get some of this out. You're okay. You're okay. I know you want to bite me. Yes, I do. Okay, I know you want to bite. Stop doing that to yourself. Stop it. Stop. Stop. Yeah, you're okay. Stop. You're okay. Let me see. You're okay. Let me try to clean his eyes out a little bit. Huh? You were so good for everything. Now what happened? Huh? After all that? After all that, baby? Hmm? Okay. I really, I want to shave all that off, so me and David will probably do that. I'm going to use his assistance after. After the bath. Because it's got, okay, we're good. We'll be back. Okay, so we went to the bath. Um, while we were doing the, David helped me hold the head and we really got it cleaned up, if you can see. And she's got a lot of drainage on her face, so I really, really cleaned all that up. I don't care about beauty right now. I care about that stuff coming out of her pores. But if I can get her to open her mouth, you can see she had been, um, her tongue was already nicked really bad somewhere. Hi. Okay. Well, maybe we'll try to capture it in a minute as I even her up. But once she opens her mouth, wow, well, we found out that her tongue has got this huge nick on it. From And David said, you know, true. That's probably why she's so scared is someone nicked her pretty bad already. So sometimes there's a reason. So now I'm just going to, you know, I go ahead. And I'm not, I don't care about my blades in the sense of like, she's a tiny bit damp. But I'm not going to blow dry her. So I'm just evening up some of these flary ones uh, after the bath. Is that itchy? 
that itchy there? Just kind of even this up. Doesn't need to be perfect, but because she's still a little damp, you know, it's going to change when she gets home. But some of these ones hanging around that I can see is a little uneven. Just take those down. And I can feel like with my fingertips, her body's really sticky. It's got this yellow gunk stuff coming out. You can tell it's just the, the body skin condition is a little different. So I'm gonna recommend that mom comes in about every six weeks. Even if I don't do a full groom, I cut, do a full haircut and just shave it all back down. Cause I don't think the skin condition is going to change there. She's just going to keep her comfortable until she passes away. So if it's going to be consistently spewing out this kind of stuff, we should keep her short, you know, and I don't like recommend clothing for this kind of dog because there's a lot of uh, gunk coming out. So it's just holding onto that gunk inside of clothing. I'm not going to recommend like a shirt or anything, but I do want to say it might be, dog food, you know, that what she's been eating, I do want to say it might be that. Or just the full-on condition she has, so. How you doing, baby? Boy, she was really trying to bite with her face, man. But David, after he got the hold of she chilled out. Like, big time. So the skin flaps on the ears don't swell. I did leave some hair on the, the ears. Otherwise, I would have shaved them down. And some of these moles, even though you didn't nick them, they're still gonna, they're kind of the external bloody moles. So you're gonna still see some seepage from those moles just because of the age of the pet. I'm taking these down a little bit, but again, leave hair on the ears. Um, if she flaps her ears, it's just gonna get swollen. They're gonna get bruised up. I can't believe she's not showing us her tongue. Okay, so yeah, she's not really getting matched like she was. I think that hold that David did like really calmed her down. Okay, okay. Alright, and we're done. Let me just sweep all this off. see if we got any flurries we want to be concerned about. And when I was doing her nails, the mom said at the veterinarian they just did her nails last week and there was definitely two that they completely missed. The dew claw. Um, I'm not gonna use the scissors in there, but come back, I'm gonna come back with the 10 in the armpit. So even though the client says, hey, the nails are good, just double check everything. I mean, cause they're paying for the groom in general. So just double check. You never know. And if you don't want her to look down, like I'm just kind of letting her look down, you can tighten up that noose. Okay, baby, let me see. There you go. I'll tighten it up here in a minute. Let me get the, my hand blade and do that armpit. Okay. I'll tighten this up so we can get a good view on the head. Put it right like under the jaw area here. She's doing great for being um, blind, seriously. Moving it around because later when it dries, it's going to be in her face. 
doesn't need to be pretty, it just needs to be effective. Get your tongue out, let's see your tongue. I don't like long eyelashes, it causes more issues. So, getting these down. I'm not choking her, I'm just hold, letting her rest her whole jaw on my hand. And I actually love that noise that they make sometimes, it's kind of cute. It's like, show us your tongue. It's so nicked. I can't believe how nicked it was. Okay, we're good. We're good to go. You want to do some cologne? This is a sugar cookie. And we're good. Thanks for watching DD Corey with My Favorite Coomer.